hi guys it's rachel and welcome back to my channel so i'm totally coming to you vlog style today i forgot to flim the intro to this video i created my alter ego makeup look it's halloween inspired halloween doesn't have to be anything scary for me halloween is what you are not what you would not do on a day-to-day -day basis and you can just use a different hair color a different lipstick color different shadows just something that you just will not usually do and for me that's my alter ego it's who i am not so her name is Paige. i hope you enjoyed this i had a real fun creating this for you um if you do please subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss my uploads um everything i use will always be in the description box the links to my social media Media, how to book me all the products everything you can also follow me there shades of chills and chills makeup edition um, like comment share this video help me grow here on YouTube and thank you so much for watching and let's jump right into this tutorial so I popped some contacts in um, I'm about to apply some lip balm on my lips to keep them moisturized through the tutorial and jump right into it so I'm starting with my eyes first today because it's a sort of dramatic editorial eyes. I'm just applying some translucent powder over my eyebrows and going with my trusty Morphe 35B palette and I'm filling in my brows per usual. And I'm doing just a little bit darker than I usually do. Yes, comb that through. Then I'm going to prep my eyes with some concealer and set that with translucent powder before we actually go into the eye look. So I did one eye off camera just to save a time and I'm going with my trusty Morphe 39A palette and I'm grabbing these two colors on a crease brush and I'm going back and forth windshield wiper motions in a corner to outer corner and gently flicking that color to the outer corner because I'm trying to keep the look cat eyes, you know what I mean? And remember we're doing this until we get the pigment that we want. I didn't do this in two seconds. This took me a while back and forth then i'm using this small eyeliner brush and i'm now gonna map out where i want this wing dramatic eye wing to be and i'm using black eyeshadow from that same palette and map that out this took me a while so take your time because i want to be very precise with it using my morphe uh, uh, gel liner in jet and i'm filling that in with a uh, um, concealer brush and like I said take your time because I want to stay in the lines that's the reason why I did that map off of my eyes first now I'm just going back with that same uh, brush and powder and just defining and neatening up anything making sure it's crisp Using my um, Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault Collection Shadow in Armed and Gorgeous, I'm using that gold coin with um, a flat, another concealer brush, and I'm applying that over top sparingly. I'm not packing it on because I still want that black to show through. So I'm just gently pressing it on until I get what I'm looking for. Take your time, guys. This took me a while. Now I'm using my um, LA Splash Gel, sorry, it's so LA Splash Glitter Liner. And I'm gently mapping off the shape I already created with the liner and I'm sparsely filling in the rest of the eyes. I'm doing it sparsely because I do not want to cover that gold. I just want to add a little something to it, a little contrast to it. So I'm just placing it sparse, but be very careful when it comes to the edges. And here again, I'm neatening up that line. I want it to say crisp. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Going back with that brush and I'm just gently windshield wiper motions over to just make sure everything stays in place. Look at that fallout. That's why I did my eyes first, you guys. Priming my face with some Wet n Wild Face Primer. Then going in with my MAC Waterproof Pull On Wear Foundation. And I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm going to buff that into my skin so I can get a nice flawless base. I'm basically doing my foundation routine. And this is a Halloween look, but you don't have to be crazy for Halloween. Really, you don't. 
So take your time and blend that in. Now I'm gonna go in with two concealers. I'm using my Maybelline Age Rewind and my Urban Decay Naked Skin. I feel like being a little extra today with the eyes and the, the color of my eyes <laughs> and the glitter over my eyes. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my same sponge and blend that in. Started with a brush, sorry, I started with a brush. I like to blend the center of my face with a brush. I prefer using a brush. And I'm gonna blend the rest with the beauty sponge. I'm just adding a little contour to my nose to get that slimmer nose. Who doesn't love a slim nose? Blend, blend, blend. Then I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm gonna set everywhere I placed that concealer and I'm gonna use the excess to set the rest of my face. Now after a couple minutes I'm dusting it off and I'm going to contour and add some color to my face now. I'm going to use my Morphe uh, contour palette in 8H with a big fluffy brush at first because I want to diffuse the color. Apply it to the, my cheeks and my jawline. You want to be snatched baby. Snatched. Then I'm going with a smaller brush and a CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer and I'm going to get very precise with it because I want it to be a little more structured. And I'm going to apply this to the sides of my face over top that first color that I, that I placed down and blend them together so that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm using that same gel liner and I'm applying it in my waterline and underneath my waterline sort of because I want it to be very black and I don't want any skin to be showing through. Perfecting this little pick in the inner corner of my eyes with that same brush and shadow And I'm gonna be connecting it to the gel liner Then with that small definer brush I'm applying some black shadow underneath to set that gel liner in place And then I'm gonna buff that off with that same brush I use in my crease just to make it look a little more diffused and not too too harsh in the bottom Neatening up my, my contour because I want to be sharp. <laughs> then using this blush for my NYX palette and apply it over my contour and my cheeks to bring some color. Buffing off the excess powder. We don't need it anymore. Setting my face with my uh, model's own one night stand to get rid of all the powder that I just used. I'm applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. This is a um, color, not color pop, Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And I'm using the Kiss products, um, Kiss Lashes in, I don't remember the number, but it's winged out at the end. Because I think it will be complement that cat eye look very well. Then I went in with my Armory Z and ABH highlighter and I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheek. Bring it all the way to the back of my temples, through my brows, my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin. My entire face basically. I just want to glow. <laughs> Those pesky lashes. Just making sure that they stay in place. They don't go anywhere. Now I'm tapping off that lip balm that I used earlier. And I'm going in with my Colourpop Liquid Lip in Friday. And I'm basically using this as my lip liner today. Because I'm going to create an ombre lip. So I'm applying it to my bottom and my top lip. Line my lip. Be very careful. This takes time and it's black. So you want to stay in your lip line as much as possible. So take your time. Then I'm using my Colored Rain Cherry Blossom in the middle. And I'm going to be blending those two colors together to create this ombre look. Take your time, you guys. Going over that black and mixing them, creating that ombre effect. Don't forget to blend, blend. <laughs> so um, now I changed my top. I'm gonna pop on some earrings, fix my hair, and that will be uh, the look. So like, you, like I said, you don't have to go out and spend a ton on creating a Halloween look. You can just do something you don't usually do. 
that is my alter ego look i feel like that's how i would look in another life <laughs> her name is Paige. meet Paige. <laughs> oh my god so that's the look i love the way it turned out i am pleased with it try something i didn't have to go and spend anything everything i use came from my closet and my makeup collection so thank you so much for watching thank you for the support and see you again soon